week, we're also going to watch this. Mm -hmm. Next week, a Racine County court will make it public. Yeah, that's when the community is going to learn where the state's going to place a man who has spent years in custody after he was committed as a sexually violent person. But Fox 6's Myra Sanchez has been investigating, and she knows tonight where Michael Fink will soon live. It scares me. Racine is not a very big city, so, you know, there is potential to cross paths. This Racine woman who does not want to be identified will start going door to door this weekend with 700 flyers sharing a photo of the man who raped her. That man, Michael Fink, according to the victim, may be placed in a home under strict supervision in this Racine neighborhood near 16th Street and Memorial Drive. Women just need to be safe. Uh, that's my goal here is helping to protect other women from the predators. Fink was convicted of sexually assaulting this woman in 1987. He got out of prison in 1994. He later was convicted of raping two more girls. In 2006, he was committed to the Sand Ridge Treatment Facility as a sexually violent person. Now the state is placing him in the community from where he came, a three-year supervised plan to reintegrate him into society. Last month, state officials unknowingly placed him in a home right around the corner from this victim, a mistake the victim discovered and brought to their attention. Now February 14th, the new location will be announced. I fear for all women because I just don't have faith that he's going to behave. While this victim knows Fink and other sex offenders must live somewhere, she wants people to be aware. And there will be a community meeting February 21st about a possible ordinance that would ban sex offenders from one aldermanic district. Any ordinance would not stop Fink from his placement, though. Fink is expected to be released and placed in Racine by the end of the month. Live in the newsroom, Myra Sanchik, Fox 6 News. Thank you for the update, Myra. Do you need a break from the snow and the cold weather?